Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna do a player review on Lisandro Lopez 91 rated card. Um I've already done a player review on uh, Eduardo Salvio, the 91 rated card, the right mid. So if you want to go check that bit check that out before you watch this video, do so now. And uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future player reviews. So yeah. Uh, anyway, this card is five foot nine, meta height. High high work rate, the right foot, 4 star, 4 star, so that's a great start for him. Looking at his in-game stats then, he has very good pace for a striker, great finishing, attack position, shot power, uh, long shots don't really matter in this game, volleys and penalties don't matter. His passing is really nice, nicely rounded for a striker. His dribbling is uh, very good, 91 dribbling, I mean 91 ball control, 97 drib 90 87 dribbling, 95 composure, 85 agility, 87 balance, 85 reactions. And then his physicals are amazing for someone that's five foot nine, has 94 strength, and he has 75 aggression, eight only 80 stamina. I'm a bit annoyed that they only gave him 80 stamina and he has 98 jumping. So it is a very good card. And uh, how much they're buying for? Buying for 390k. Uh, I think he will drop like even more. So don't buy any of these players right now. Uh, so how much is he right now? It's about 400. So yeah, he will drop. Um, and this is a team I'm playing, unless you the custom tactics and formation. I'm gonna play 442. I'm gonna play him as a right. Well, I don't know what's happened here to my players, but play him as a left striker next to Ian Wright. Let's put everyone in the right position. Yeah, so uh, that's the team I'm playing. And instructions on him getting behind and uh, leave him on basic on everything else. My right striker as a. Let me leave him on mixed attack because he's not a target man. My both sentiments stay, stay back while attacking cover center. My right mid and left mid only leave them on getting behind and my fallbacks. Stay back while attacking and then the tactics for it is just ba balanced on everything really so yeah um let's just go on footprint to see what chem style you put on him so uh as you can see his card is a uh, it's cost about 400k now but i feel he will drop uh, in a couple of days time but for me this card is a top tier card yeah for me straight away thinking engine look at that with the engine gets his agility up he's balanced to 97 look at his dribbling he has already has great finishing and uh, his pace even it goes up. Look at his stats. Takes him a 93 uh, center forward, 93 left forward, and 92 left wing. You can even play him on the wing because he's got the height for the winger. And so for me, his card is a top tier card. And uh, if you put him a hawk on him, you get him to a 93, 93 striker. You put a snipe on him, take him to a 93 striker as well. Uh, so yeah, you, there's loads of chem styles you can put on him. You can play him. Uh, you can play him like almost anywhere on the front four. So for me, this card, uh, you should definitely probably get it. Let's hopefully it's a good in game though. That's the only problem I have to check now. Uh, you can put Marksman on him, takes him to a 94 striker. So Marksman is the best uh, in terms of rating. Well, Footbin says that anyway. And people are saying put Engine on him. Yeah, and I agree because you want that pace to go up and that dribbling, uh, that agility and balance. Uh, look what people said. What? <laughs> oh my God. The player nobody know we needed. Yeah, they're probably right as well. Argentinian, he's 37 years old. Wow, I didn't see that coming. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna put engine on him, and we'll get into a game. So this is the first team coming up against, and uh, it's a really nice team. He's got like different type of players that, like, he's using Landrup and Shushenko. Not a lot of people use them type of players. So uh, let's see. Should be a difficult game. First touch for him. Let's do over top ball. Brilliant pass to Di Maria. Give you score. Oh, should have been one 0 Oh my god. Take a corner and Babu get that and straight the keeper. So already straight away though from uh, Lopez, create almost created a goal. No, I was trying to do it again, man. This game like they haven't even fixed that issue where it doesn't respond when you try to do a skill move. Especially to heal, the heal to heal, it never works. Straight away. Nice pass. Do a 1 2 with him. Got a chance on goal. Take a finesse shot. And easy. Brilliant finish. No, uh, right into the corner. Good chance here. Come on. Oh, he's missed. I was going to, I was going to say that he took a te terrible shot and he was offside anyway. I swear he was onside. Good 
It's good. Good at doing one twos. Oh, that's good from him. Oh, there we go. Oh, what a finish that was as well, and that play. Oh, what a goal this is gonna be! Oh my god, I've just absolutely done my opponent. Come on, I, swear, I think that's on side anyway. Oh, I ball rolled the keeper, but can we score this? Yeah, it was just too hard. The player was on the line. Drag back. Oh, it's such a good goal that is. The amount of power you point to that shot. And what a finish. And I think we're going to get a rage quit. It's got four goals in this game. Uh, let's see then quickly. Yes, yeah, so we got 10 ratings, got four goals, had five shots, 18 out of 20 passes, 17 out of 22 dribbles. So he had a very good game. So, but let's get into another game. So this is the second team we're coming up against and uh, it's got a full Premier League team. Uh, so a good team. It's not a bad team. I liked it. the way he did that first touch was so good. Let's take a finesse shot. Um, that might have been going in, but it hits off my player. Oh no, so close to like getting that extra touch past him. Good pass. Try a new post shot. And I think he's hit with his outside his foot. So maybe he has an outside his foot trait. I don't know. The way he's turned, he turned so quick. Gets an interception in, but it goes back to his player, man. Come on. Oh, he's almost out strength, Davison Sanchez. He has that 94 strength, so hopefully he comes in use in other games. I mean, uh, in other times in this match. Getting pushed off there, but he outstrength that guy who tried to stop him running. Come on, man. why is he going to the wrong player? He intercepts it. I don't know how I still got the ball. He knows I'm trying to do a drag back. Okay, left foot shot. Scores with the left foot with his weak foot. Try, I tried to get it to uh, Lopez, but it went to best, and I'm not going to complain. 3 0. I think we're going to get a rage quit. Yeah, we get a rage quit. So, um, Lopez gets a 9.3 rating in this game, scores two goals, had four shots, eight passes completed out eight, and nine out of 14 dribbles. I made one out of one tackle. So, I'll give my final review on him now. So, guys, this card is such a good card. And uh, there's one player I want to compare him to, and that would be. Uh, let me just quickly get him. Uh, let me quickly check um, uh, Rooney so these two cars here like if you look at them they're very like similar Lopez doesn't beat him in anything except pace but for me this uh, Lopez card is better than that Rooney card mainly because he has that agility and balance whereas uh, Rooney doesn't uh, and that's the main difference and uh, with the engine on him he's better than Rooney for me the only difference is this probably well stamina is only by one so it doesn't really matter Rooney does have better aggression but for me Rooney is better as a, like a a, a centimid than a striker and this Lopez card is better for me so he scored six goals in two games and it was just a top it was just a top tier card his finishing was amazing his, he felt quick on the ball he always had the strength to hold off the opponents yeah, his passing is really good his dribbling his agility and balance everything was good about this card and for 400k you can't really go wrong with this card so for me i definitely get i would definitely get him if you can but uh he's not not an easy player to link but with all these like uh, new other cards that come out all these other copper cards come out that come out it uh, should be easy to link like with tevez and that um salvio so it shouldn't be too hard to link now and yeah so definitely get this card if you can and uh, I don't know if he'll stay about around 400k. I doubt he will. So um, for me, this uh, I think you should wait a bit just to see if price drops. 
But yeah, anyway, this is going to be the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.